sin promoción ni nada Ves como yo marco la diferencia Porque mi música es real Multiple music Sin promoción ni nada Ves como yo marco la diferencia la No la trates de imitar Porque me suena como el crack crack Dura como el crack crack Tú sigues track track Loco por hacerlo como yo Sin promoción ni nada Yo sigo marcando la diferencia en esto Dura como el crack crack Dura como el crack crack Y tú sigues track track Yo, para, yo, para Everyone that supports the movement You already know who it is Music IMTV online radio. Today I got a special guest. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Introduce yourself, brother. What's going on? It's your favorite cousin, big cuz, checking in with Music IM, the general. What's up? Yes, indeed, man. Salute, boss, man. Man, I definitely want to know where you originally from. Uh, Cotman Rising Sun area, Northeast Philly. Okay. Now, um, I know you do music. What got you into music? Um, I was, you know, always around music. People I uh, came up with, was hanging out with in high school. They were into um, performing, emceeing, just hanging out and stuff like that. And it, it just built from there. Um, how long, how many years you've been doing music? Um, I, I started taking it serious in about like oh two, I guess. So about you know, 13, 14 years, just learning how to, like, rhyme, doing shows, parties, uh, whatever, just to just stay relevant and stay active because I like being a part of this hip-hop community, you know? That's what's up, Big Cuz Live. I definitely want to know, man, what um inspires you to do your music? Um, Usually I speak on things that need to be talked about. I usually don't make a lot of music that doesn't, uh, irrelevant music. If I have something I want to say about a certain topic, I won't go online and post about it. Like, if I really feel some type of way about it, I'll put it in my music. Right, right. That's what's up. Much, much respect, man. Um, Big Cuz Live, how you take criticism? Um, Criticism depends who it comes from. If it comes from, like, a musical person, I'll take, you know, I'll take notice, like, you know, um, Hopefully it's constructive criticism, you know, because I do a lot more than just music. We have a silly freedom project, so, like, uh, it could be criticism on my moves. Like, if you don't like, people might not like the way I'm doing a certain thing or, you know, the way I go about my business. Like, you know, I'll I'll listen, but, you know, that doesn't mean I'm going to change what I'm doing. Right. I respect you for that, man, definitely. What makes you different? Um, probably the main thing that makes me different is just how I diversified myself, just as you yourself, you're an artist, but at the same time you have music I am. I'm the same way. I have um I'm building the brand with ADA with offtophiphop dot com and then we're building I also have the most slept on brand that we're building. Um and it's pretty much creating an avenue for other artists to get involved. Um, Variety, you 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 know 'cause you had your series, your uh you put out like five hundred CDs yourself, so Right. We we're just we're just you know building a brand and and um one of my uh, mentors always told me um to make headway in the industry you need to create uh value create leverage like create a platform and then allow others to like get on your stage and at the same time they'll let you get on their stage. Yeah, I've definitely seen you um grow in a couple years. You know, I'm definitely a sample uh of actually seeing what you've done and and actually supporting what you've done since day one you know i know you're an artist and i know you definitely work on other stuff man um how did the freedom project come about um the freedom project came about because we were we just i got i connected with uh the fallen angels which was a nonprofit uh group that i was working with and we were doing a lot of things and then you know things you know things just uh fall apart not so much in a bad way but you know people just kind of go there uh, in their own directions, and then we had we still had a group of people that wanted to do something, and we were serving the homeless every week, and then we're like, all right, well, let's, you know, let's just establish on paperwork and, you know, incorporate with the 501c3, so we just took the time and studied and learned how to do all that, and then we we pretty much just, just submitted the paperwork with the IRS and the state, and now we're, in, you know, now, now we're official, like the Philadelphia Freedom Project is an operating 501c3 business in Pennsylvania. We're establishing in Massachusetts, we have a connection in Puerto Rico, and 
we're we're really just trying to uh, break out and uh, bring opportunities for youth to have access to free sports. So you expanding the brand? Yes, um, well, expanding and also focusing. And like I said, we still do our, you know, we still serve the homeless. Um, but how how we want to build our brand for the future is youth sports. So right now we're just meeting with different business owners and uh, league operators, like the directors of different youth leagues around and getting them on board and seeing what we really can do. Right now we're sponsoring a team in the best athletic association. It's a high school league that's operating right now in North Philly at the Linfest Center. Um, so we have a team in there. and We're trying to, you know, a couple more leagues are about to pop up. So we're trying to have sponsorships in, in those leagues as well. I know you are a performer too. Do you have anything new or any shows coming up because live? Yeah, yeah. I um, I I, I see the thing. The thing I I'm I'm doing so much with building the brand and also building the business at the same time. I neglect my own music, but yes, I do have a, a project coming out. It's called Can't Downgrade from a Queen. Um, right now. It's a performance pro- uh, project, so right now I'm about, like, five songs. Like, But all five songs are, like, super solid. Um, they all mean something. They're all, you know, relationship. Um, we all, you know, everyone goes through relationships, so all the songs deal with, like, stuff that real-life issues and relationships, and that's why it's called Can't Downgrade from a Queen. Um, and I do have a show November 22nd uh, with Prejudice Sound up at Chuck's Alibi. I think that's that's the next uh, show for myself. And I also perform... Uh, with DJ Rue Girl, we do different events. We have an event coming up in a couple of weeks out in uh, Central PA. Mm, okay, I salute you for that, man. You got, you know, uh, you know, we deal with a lot of youth and stuff like that. Do you have any inspirational words, man, for our young youth? Oh, always, always. Well, first and foremost, I think the first step that people need to take, um, any you is separate yourself from negativity is take steps towards positive action, mm-hmm. uh, whether it be po- positive thought, um, just being around positive people. Um, even if the people around you are saying that, uh, oh, don't do that, that's corny, those people are corny, well, that's probably that's a negative influence that you're allowing in your life. And once you surround yourself with all positive, um, everything else matters. I mean, there is, I, don't, I don't really believe in heaven or hell. I believe heaven and hell is here on earth, so you just need to create it for yourself. You can you can live in a nice, par- uh, peaceful world, or you can surround yourself with negative entities, and you can live in that world. Okay. Um, do you have uh, any shout-outs? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, first off, shout-out uh, Music I Am, Variety, the Analyzer. We also shout-out our brands, which is Most Slept On, uh, All Stop, Hip Hop dot com. Uh, anybody that wants to connect with us, uh, you can go on the website with the Most Slept On. Uh, any artists that want to submit music to be considered for uh, Volume 3, which we're still looking for more music. Uh, volume 2 did really well, so we're trying to boost Volume 3, so that's most slept on TV at gmail.com. Uh, definitely uh, check into the Philly Freedom Project, um, see what we're doing with that, and um, those are my brands. I want to shout out outside my brands. Is any, shout out anybody that's really just hustling and really, you know, stay focused on yourself and, you know, building a better future for yourself because, you know, you, yeah. if, if you do good for yourself, those around you do good as well. So let's, there's enough out here. And like like they say, paid in full, man. Everybody eats, baby. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, brother. I definitely want to uh, salute you, man, and salute ADOT. I know he's been a big, huge part of you. You know what I mean? I definitely want to shout you guys out. You know, um, definitely big, big, big salute to you, brother. You know, I see what you're doing. You know, uh, it inspires me to do some of the stuff that I do. You know, um, I'm very proud of you. Um, where can they find you, like, on the social network and stuff like that? Uh, well, let me touch on the last thing you just said, that as far as me inspiring you. I and I work hard to inspire myself, and also there's people that are inspired to me. Um, if I go back to shout-out, shout-out my homie, uh, Neo Davis. So he's a, young entrepreneur. he's a young entrepreneur in Philadelphia that really inspires me, and also – Anybody out there, check out Eric Thomas. Listen to what Eric Thomas has to say. He's a hip hop, uh, a hip hop preacher. You know, if you haven't heard of him, Eric Thomas, check him out. Listen to what he has to say, and he'll definitely get you motivated. Uh, what was the What was the question? I'm sorry, I got um, Where Where can they find you? Like on the social network, Twitter, Instagram, and stuff like that. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, everything is Big Cuz Live. Uh, at Big Cuz Live, B I G C U Z L I V E, Twitter, Instagram, dot com, Gmail, Facebook, whatever. Uh, just Google it pretty much, and all my contacts come up. And then, you um, know, I'm, I'm, easy, I'm easy to connect with. Just, you know, sh- show, show me why we should connect, and then we'll, we'll move from there. Right. Um, now, what's the next project for Most Slept On? Um, see, we we put out we put out six CDs over this last year. We have um, the Most Slept On with Silly compilations are the best of you know our idea of what the best of sound coming out of Philly is. We put out Volume One and Volume Two of that. Volume Three is coming now. So once we drop that, that's going to be a bit. That's going to be a big push. We'll probably push that for like almost six to eight months. I mean, we pushed volume two for like um, since the spring. So we're still pushing that. We we still have some copies left, but we also have the DJ Battle series. Uh, we have DJ Too Tough versus DJ Excel, both well-renowned DJs. Uh, we have DJ Midi versus DJ Oh Boy. It's a reggae CD. Uh, we have a Shad Day versus Erica Badu CD. So we have a lot of things. We're With the most left on brand, we're really trying to get people to push towards entrepreneurship uh, we're getting people uh, opportunities to make money off music, and also the money that we make off the move slept on goes to fund the Philly Freedom Project. So it's all connected. Um, would you give the artists an email where they can actually email you tracks? Yeah, that's most slept on TV at gmail dot com. Most slept on TV at gmail dot com, and don't don't just send us one. Send us like three or four, because the way we do the mixes is like. Um, like the music has to mesh together, like the whole CD. We we use the whole CD to tell the story about Philadelphia. That's 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 one thing that we do with the CD. That's what's up, man. I really appreciate you giving me this interview, taking the time to do it. Um, once again, man, I can't thank you enough, brother. You know, I I definitely salute you on who you are and what you're doing. And like I say, man, I I can't even beat around the bush. You don't you you know you give me motivation and inspire me to do what I have to do, man. Salute, brother. Hey, man, you inspire me too, man. You, like I said, man, you put out like 50 CDs. You have them all, you, have, you showed me the poster. I was like, oh, geez, I got to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, when I work, I, I want people to get motivated and get inspired by what I'm doing. I never try to outwork anyone in the city. I want everyone in the city to be inspired and get motivated by what I'm doing because they can go out and do the same thing. You feel me? Because Oh, yeah. The loop, and there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a difference between the work that people see and the work like behind yes. the scenes. There's a, lot, there's a lot of behind the scenes work, so you can't judge anybody by what you see. Trust me. Right. That's right, man. You already know, man. Thanks a lot, and we out of here because, love. All right. Bless you. Take care, everybody.